Thomas Tuchel, the new manager of England, the third uh, non-English coach to take charge of our national team. We're here with two former England internationals. Is Thomas Tuchel, Theo, going to make England better? Well, I think we all hope so. I think that's the one part of it I look at. They're trying to find the next best sort of manager that's going to just put England that next level to win something. But does and he have the credentials to do that? Well, this is the side of it where he's never really been tested. Well, he's never been tested at international level. But of course, it's one of those where they put their, him there to win. So I'm expecting him. He's got all the tools, got all the best players to pick from. It's just that day to day, I feel like he will probably crave, which you won't get. So that's the side of it. I'm a big believer in having English players. What are your biggest reservations then? Well, I'm a big coach. Uh, for me, look, I'm a big sort of believe in having an English coach for me personally. I work with foreign coaches and they're, you work they're with brilliant. Sven, you work I with work with Sven and Capella as well. But for me, like, Tuchel would have that side of it with his work with a lot of these players as well before. Sven and obviously Capella never really had, had that opportunity to work with the players. Mm. What did you see as the clubs. problems then when you were, when you were working with the foreign, foreign coaches? Was it, was it probably maybe the different tactics or maybe is it Capello in terms of his, his English wasn't the best? I would say at, at times, look, maybe the English sort of side of it was, would come across in a different way. But as well, you know, as players, you want a bit of sort of leadership at times and a bit of honesty in, in a manager, knowing the players a little bit more. I think that's the good thing of Thomas Tuchel. He knows the players a lot more in depth than obviously Capella and Sven maybe did. So I think that's a positive in that side of it. But look, again, I'm a big believer in having an English coach. You know, you have St George's Park and you want to build this next generation of coaches coming through. And we haven't managed to find that, which is sad truth. But look, too, too, too sure for me, he has to win something. That's, that's why he's there for My first for me. question to, to Theo, I think, is he going to make England better? Is that not the only thing that matters? Yeah, winning. Winning. Just got to win a tournament now. We've got to finals, we've got to semi-finals. That's the brief now. And obviously people are looking, going, well, you know, the foreign manager. For me, it, it doesn't bother me in the slightest. I think we have to get miles beyond that. Because I think if we'd have got Pep Guardiola, we'd all been like, oh, that's amazing. We wouldn't care where he came from. Thomas is coming in with, you know, he knows this league, he knows the players, he's been here, he understands it. The previous two managers, that's why I asked the question, hadn't worked in the Premier League before they came here, whereas he, he has. And I think he, he understands the intensity of our game. I think he will make sure that in terms of tactically how aware we have to be, that have that English mentality, but also play with a bit more style, a bit more comfort on the ball. Do you think that's a big ball. part of his job, to make it more interesting to watch England? Yeah, more but I don't even think sometimes it's the manager. I also think it has to come from the players. We still struggle to unlock that fear for some players are playing for England. Replicating what it is to play for your club and then taking that club form to country isn't, hasn't been easy for a lot of players, whether it's the pressure, whatever it may be. We don't seem to find it easy. You know, there's been moments, and there's obviously I looked at it in the Euros in the summer. It was, there, was a, there was a real time when the players were complaining about the, the press, the intensity of it, and the stress that it came with it. You know, we got through that. But I think right now we should look at Thomas and go, right, we've got a really good chance. We've got one of the best managers in international football, probably the best managers that's managing international football right now. He knows the game. Can he make us winners? That's what we have to become now. We have, under Gareth Southgate, repeatedly gone much deeper into tournaments. Mm. Is there an argument that Thomas Tuchel comes into a situation which was never there for Fabio Capello or even Sven Joran Eriksson of uh, a side where the culture has changed, where, where actually the fear has, to a large extent, gone and the players relish now playing for their country and, and perhaps even see the talent within their own dressing room? You know, as I, there, you say about fear, and I look at Thomas Tuchel on the sidelines compared to previous managers. He will put the fear in the other side as well at times and make those decisions and that presence and that passion as well. I think, yes, like I say, yes, I would like to see an English manager, but look, I'm going to be obviously wanting English to do really well, but he will just show that presence and that passion of being able to make those decisions because that players wouldn't want to knock on his door because he's got that presence about him, that sort of aura. That, that respect from players because he's worked with, the, the calibre of players he's worked with. Mm. And I think it's a, it's a new era because, you know, like I said, we have all these gifted talents. The golden generation, you know, back in the day and now this, this talent, 
I mean, he's got all the best players to pick from. It's one of those for him. It's an easy job for him because he, every position... It doesn't look that easy at the No, moment. but, like, he's well, that tactically yeah. aware. He know, look, when I say it, easy, I feel like he has got all the best players to his disposal. When he's on to his clubs, he hasn't uh, had that. Is the problem not, though, Theo, that all the best players actually play in the same position in this England team? <laughs> and we've not got an abundance of defenders either. Mm. I don't under, one thing I don't understand is why he's not starting until February, is January it? January the 1st. Mm. January, yeah. Sorry, January the 1st. I don't, don't get that. You know, the first game's going to be in March. I don't really understand why he just doesn't get cut his teeth get into it now of course he's going to be watching games you know what, what's the point of having Lee Carsley in charge for these next few games you should, this should be really now Thomas is here he's been paid let's, let's get on with the so job if, if he doesn't win the World Cup which ultimately has been in hired to get us to and then perform very well at, if he doesn't win the World Cup has he failed? I will sack him We'll get someone else in. <laughs> that's what'll happen. Obviously, the FA will panic. They usually do. No, but that's that's the that's the price of a ticket when you're managing England. Now the brief is you've got to win the World Cup because he's not going to be the sort of you know that sometimes when you have managers and they're going to go through and, and they're going to go and change how we. Like, like, if you had Pep Guardiola, you could say to Pep, right, you, I want you to change the whole coaching ethos of this country. Now, one thing for sure is I see enough kids football. The coaching is very good. There are enough good young players coming through. But Thomas isn't going to do that. You're bringing him in purely to win. Nothing else. He's not going to, you know, completely rip up out of the FA work or anything like that or change coaching at grassroots. You just want him to coach, get the team the best they can and make sure they win. And if he does that, it was an unbelievable decision and he won't care where he's from. Does he stay then if they win? Does he stay? I wouldn't, would you? No, no. I'll retire after that, yeah, wouldn't you? Get any, any job in the world. Got, yeah, <laughs> drop the mic and off. <laughs> and on that note, <laughs> Jamie, thank you, Theo, thank you very much.